Hello darlings, welcome back to Dining Through the Decades. My name is Sage Lillyman and in this week's episode we are going to be making a World War II pumpkin pie with a Halloween twist. This recipe is from 1944 from the cookbook Recipes for Good Eating. I think I've only had pumpkin pie once in my life so I feel like it's about time to revisit this delicious dessert again but with a Halloween twist with some little pastry decorations, little spooky ghosts and maybe a pumpkin face on the pie. I'm really excited to make this so let's get into it. For this recipe you can either make a homemade pastry or you can use a pastry mix and in this recipe it did actually say that you can use something like this because it would have been available in the 1940s. So I'm just going to add this into my bowl here and then add a third of a cup of caster sugar. Okay, I'm just adding in my sugar now. And now I'm just going to add in half a cup of water and we're going to mix this into a stiff dough. So if the dough doesn't seem to be forming together, you can add a teaspoon of water a little bit at a time until the dough starts to form. All right, now that our dough is coming together, we're going to move this onto our floured surface. All right, we're just going to knead this into a ball. We're going to get our rolling pin out. Okay, and we're just going to roll this until our dough gets down to around three millimeters thick. I've just moved the flowers and the cups out of the way because I need a bit more bench space. So we're going to keep rolling until it's nice and thin. Okay, so I've just rolled out my dough and I'm going to leave this for two minutes to let it shrink and then we can put it in our pie pan. Okay, I'm just going to roll the dough onto my pin. I saw this in a video with people doing pastry. <laughs> oh. And then roll it onto... I did it! <laughs> Yay! And roll it onto my pie pan. Okay, and then I'm just going to let it sink into the dish and then we'll cut off the excess on the outside. Just pressing into those corners. Alright, so I'm just going to cut off the excess. And with the excess here, I'm just going to put that aside and we can make some Halloween shapes with that later. Alright, I'm just doing a little pattern here, pushing the dough between my fingers, my knuckles, and pushing it through with my pointer finger. Alright, and now I'm just going to go around with the end of a fork or a knife and just push down those little valleys between all the ridges so that it's nice and pronounced. All right, I'm just gonna put this to the side and we're gonna mix up our filling. In our mixing bowl here, we're gonna add in some pumpkin puree and some spices. I've got some cinnamon, clove, ginger, and salt here, and then also some sugar. So let's add that in. We're 
just going to mix this together. Ooh, looks good. Oh, yum. It smells so good. The spices are so warming. They just smell delicious. This definitely reminds me of the pumpkin pie that I had once in my life. Mum's delicious pumpkin pie. Alright, I've got my two eggs here. I'm just going to add them in and then whisk them up. Okay, so once we've whisked the eggs, we can then add that into our pumpkin mixture. I've swapped over to a whisk because I think it'll be easier at combining the egg into our pumpkin mixture. I decided to use this whisk because this is more something you'd use for mixing, but I do have this lovely old whisk from the 1940s and I think this would be more so used for mixing together some eggs to put in for a scramble but it's a lovely whisk. I've got my hot milk here. I've got one and a half cups of hot milk and I'm gonna gradually add that in so as not to scramble the egg that's in here. Make sure that you've combined everything, all the little bits of pumpkin. And now I can put this into our pie crust. I've got my pie crust here and I'm gonna put in my pumpkin pie filling, but I'm too afraid to just tip the bowl. I think it might go everywhere. So I'm just gonna ladle this in little bit by little bit. And it smells delicious. Okay, uh. All right, we're going to be putting our pie into a high oven at 218 degrees Celsius or 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is going to go in for 15 minutes and then we're going to turn down the heat and then put that in for a further 30 minutes. Oh, oh my gosh. While the pie's in the oven cooking, we're going to make our little shapes for the top and we're gonna put this on towards the end because the pie mixture is completely runny and if we put anything on top, it would just stick to the bottom. Just gonna put a bit of flour down. We'll knead this again and then roll it out. Okay. So I'm rolling out this pastry here so we can make a little pumpkin spooky face for our pie. Okay, so I've got a butter knife here so I can make my little shapes. And I don't actually remember the size of the pie, so let's just hope that <laughs> this face is gonna fit on the finished pie. So I'm gonna make some little pumpkin eyes first. minutes is up on the timer so I'm going to turn the oven down to 176 degrees Celsius and the timer on for 30 minutes. I've just transferred my cute little spooky jack-o'-lantern face and I'm going to put that in the oven until it browns on top and then we'll take that out and put that on the pie at the end. I've also just made a little stem for the pumpkin and a leaf to go with it. So I'm going to put that in the oven now. Everything's in the oven now on a lower temperature for 30 minutes. So I'll see you back here.
pumpkin pie is done, it smells delicious, so let's take it out. And it should have a little bit of a jiggle to it. And we also have our little jack-o'-lantern face. We need to let this set on the bench for 15 minutes to half an hour to let it cool down and then we can cut into it. This is it here, the delicious pumpkin pie. It came out perfect. I kind of had my doubts about it because this is the first time that I've made pumpkin pie. I'm actually very impressed. It turned out beautifully and it's completely set and I'm very ready to try this. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes like home and it tastes like cold seasons. That's a lovely pumpkin pie. I'm really happy with this. So good. This really reminds me of the pumpkin pie my mum made when I was younger. This is the sort of warm dessert to have on a cold fall day. Although it's not really fall here, we are in the middle of spring, but you can just imagine. There are a family of magpies out the front at the moment and they are going on like you wouldn't believe. There's a whole bunch of babies and I think like they're learning to eat worms and fly and everything, which is actually very cute. But at the moment, they're chirping while I'm filming a video. <laughs> this was a delicious pumpkin pie and I put the recipe down below in the description box if you want to make it too. But make sure to let me know if you do. Happy Halloween everybody and I'll see you next week. Bye! <laughs> I never say that. I'll see you soon. <laughs> oh!